last had about a lesson, probably about a year ago. Was it that Life and weather. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I thought things were going really well. I, mean, I had some videos and I broke 90 and things were I was really, I was really impressed with what was going on. I kind of had confidence. Yeah. Then the weather happened. Nothing. No, I couldn't really do anything. I put a lot of weight on, which didn't help. But I've started to lose a lot of weight. I've been doing a lot of exercise. People have seen that on Instagram. Got myself a bit of a trainer and everything. Okay. Lost three stone. Yeah. And I went out and decided to be braver. So I've always thought I've had a bit of a very limited swing. Certainly with driver and everything else, but I'm kind of I'm swinging a lot freer now, a lot bigger. Braver is in your taking on more shots, or you're swinging it, trying to swing it longer, or what? what are you I think to I'm do? swinging it longer. Okay. So it's not. It, it feels in my head that it's not a half swing anymore. Yeah. It's more of a, a full swing or a fuller swing, and more of a follow through. Yeah. Okay. So your your thinking is your thought process is that the longer your golf swing is, the less control you have. Well. The, the, the issue I've had is that it's improved the driver in no end. Yeah. They are a lot more consistent. I'm still using a lot of the techniques we learned before in the driver lesson. Good. So I'm not worried about the driver. The problem I've got is irons. Okay. My, my irons used to be my safe thing. A five iron was my safe shot. It was always, I'd grab a five iron if I didn't know what I'm doing. Yeah. I can't hit a, I can't hit a five iron, a seven up, can't hit a thing. You've changed your irons. I've changed my irons. What, using what, have we, what have we had before? Mizuno. Mizuno, okay. So and now you've got into Orca. Yeah. And is as do you feel like the transition of you changing your irons is that not maybe is that part of that as well? It may be. Okay. But I've not paid enough with them to kind of understand that for yeah. the weather situation. What I'm saying is, was this happening with your Mizunos as well as now with your Orcas? No. But then but now the Mizuno transition was the same time as we just kind of finished our lesson. Okay. I played with Neil the other day on a proper um, scoring round. Yeah. Dropped down my handicap, it scored 19 to at Morgan Porsche, which is my home club. Right. But the irons were shocking. Okay. Okay. Along the ground, left, say, right, no ball. real actual miss. So like bad strikes. Bad everything. Not getting the right direction. I can stand over the ball and have no idea what I'm going to do next. Have you lost power as well? So when you hit it all right, you, have you lost power? I, I, I think they're kind of slicing through, so you feel like not get a big connection. Okay. But it's literally a mental thing. Yeah. If I've if I got the drive in my hand now, I accept we'll get the occasional mistake. But most of the time, I kind of know what I'm doing. Yeah. But now with the irons, I'm, I don't know what, what I've got to do. I literally could yeah. walk away from it. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm trying to adjust the grip, I'm changing the angle, and I don't know what's happening, where it's going right or wrong. Right. Okay, so yeah, I can't tell you uh, whether they'll all go left or they'll all go right. They yeah. literally. No, I just want you to swing it. Don't worry about exactly okay. where, we're, where we're at right now. I just want you to swing it. Nice. But here's another strange thing. I've just noticed on that, people who watch the channel, they notice if I'm swinging an iron right now, I'm not putting this foot up at the back. I'm sitting here, I'm standing here and, it, and I'm thinking that's what I've got to do and it kind of comes back. Yeah. Just ridiculous right now. Feels good. I don't need a lesson done. Uh, I filmed the other day, and the video went out, the, the previous video, yeah. um, at Starcross, the approach course, um, just at the other side of Dawlish. Yeah, right, yeah. Couldn't hit uh, an iron to save my life. That was nice. Really nice. I felt I've been doing some mobility exercise as well as losing the weight, and I've got a bit more freedom now. Uh, so it's what's happened with the driver and I remember you said before on previous lessons that um, when the, literally stopping causes more damage to your body so I'm kind yeah. of allowing it to flow more accepting the fact that things will go wrong a bit yeah. I mean to be honest John if we think about where we were yeah. a year or year and a half ago, let's say 18 months ago, and what we were trying to get you to shift is massively over the top, yeah. hugely over the top. So the shifts that you've made, you know, on an average, you're one degree out to in. Yeah. You know, if you see here, you've got point, you know, 1.4 into out, you know, you've got 0.5 into out and everything around, it's around the sort of neutral mark. So, you know, I always kind of like, like a buffer of around two degrees. Things, things have definitely changed. Yeah. But it's, it's just, 
I, I'm literally scared of getting a, a longer iron than a seven. We're using a seven right now, but it's yeah. a longer iron than a seven because they're just not going anywhere. Or they're going everywhere but they sh where they should go. Face is, is jumping around a little yeah. bit, okay? Um, and I'll explain why that's happening in, in just a moment because there is a reason. Um, the lie angle of the clubs are 4.8 degrees toe down. Okay. So you went for, do you go for a fitting with these? Yeah. So there's something that's either either you've changed. Well, I've changed. I, mean, I completely understand yeah. that I've changed. So I've lost three stone in weight and a lot more. Do you remember the fitting, fitting for those irons? Not on my head, I could, I could find it. Okay, so I mean, look, just looking at them, if I'm honest, just sort of setting up to them, I would say they're probably one or two degrees upright. I think my Mizuno is a two and they literally said the same thing, they were yeah. two degrees okay, upright. So, so. so based on that, I mean, you're, you're now five, on average, you're five degrees down. Okay. So you would need an iron that is around seven, yeah, seven, seven degrees, six or seven degrees upright in right. order to compensate for this. So we're not going to do that. No, no. But we, the, the shift that we need to make in the golf swing should hopefully help this out a little bit as okay. well. Um, if we look at your delivery, okay. you've got a seven iron in your hand, which I would imagine is quite a strong lofted seven iron, okay. based on what that club kind of looks like. Do you know the loft of the seven iron? You're asking a lot of questions about it. Well, you, have to you, you, must, you must remember. Do you not remember? No. Okay. Seven iron of 34, 35 degrees in loft. I'd like to see a delivery of, of a launch of around 18, 19 degrees with a seven iron. Yeah. Like your spin numbers are okay at five, three. You know, I'd like to push it, keep going up with that as much as we can. Yeah. But just by taking off that sort of toppy shot, which is, you know, you're now at 22 degrees in your angle. So we could, we've got wriggle room to push that angle down. Okay. Um, and if we then go back, based on the fact that I've taken that other one out, we've got to get you to hit down into the golf ball, and I want to see if we can push you to around three or four degrees down into the ball, okay. rather than you... There, there's you always been a worry with me, but I have other problems with distance or anything else, and I'm more kind of forcing the ball up in the air. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I need to do it, trust yeah. the... Trust the... You're, you're, you're trying to scoop it off the top, which is common. You know, yeah. A lot of people do that. So the only problem with that is you deliver lots of loft generally, you fall back on it. There's no weight transfer properly into the shot. There's probably no turn into the shot. You talked about the fact that you're seeing dispersion left and right. Yeah. You know, if your body stops turning, your hands are going to really react. Yeah. And yeah. This is where you're either flipping the club face or holding it off. Or I absolutely feel the ones that I noticed so badly on the course yeah. are the ones that suddenly are flying out to the left. Yeah. And, I, and I actually think and look at myself and go, oh, I've, I've done that. I've twisted my Yeah, hands. yeah, yeah. But that's it's not, you're, you're not, yeah, absolutely. But when you're swinging the club at 70 mile an hour, you know, trying to control that consciously is really hard. Yeah. So you've got to put things in place to be able to just let that happen at 70 mile an hour. Yeah. Your body's got to keep turning. The more the body turns through the shot, the more the body can open up. As the body turns, the hands are going to quieten down naturally. Okay. Okay. If the body stops, well, that's when I have the issue with it. All. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Because you've got to think, if you're swinging something at 70 mile an hour, okay, you've got to keep your balance. If I went over here and pushed you, yeah. first thing you're going to do is put your hands out to try and balance your tightrope walkers. They're all using their hands. The hands are our stabilizers. These are what control our... So if you're swinging something at 70 mile an hour and your body stops turning, your hands are going to want to manage your... Yeah situation they've got all of the club they're not going to be able to they're not interested in this bit they're, they're not worried about the club or the, the ball they are worry about you so they're controlling what you're doing therefore if you get if you get your balances right you turn through the shot your hands can quieten down and then they'll go once the ball's kind of gone from there okay so just coming over to the computer yep good setup position john yep. um hands nice and pressed forward so we're delivering the angle of trying remember to push that bit. the shot yeah so i'm loving that um, let's take you to the top of the swing. You know, a decent turn, decent, yeah. pretty much I mean, getting it. It feels like it's still a bit more, but it, it feels less. Sorry, it feels better than it was. Yeah. From the range of turn, anyway. Love the connection that you've got going on here. Elbows nice and together. Club looks like nicely laid off. I've got the club face nice and almost like closed in that position. Left wrist looks absolutely spot on. 
some good moves there. Okay. There's some good stuff going on there. You seem quite flexible enough to be able to get to those positions. Yeah, that's, so that's what I, where I couldn't get before. Yeah. So I feel I can do that now. This is where things start to go a little bit astray though. On the way down, so, you know, remember, think about, I mean, the lower half just doesn't want to do anything. Yeah, we're back, back to that, you're almost back like where we started before. Yeah, you're back to a position here where there's no, you know, the handle now is behind the club head, behind the ball. Um, you know, amazingly, it's, it looks like you're wanting to come over the top of the swing, over the top of yourself a little bit from there, but there's still that slight trigger movement yeah, that we used to have. Yeah, before. and it's a it's a it's a natural thing for you, but there, you know, you are extremely parallel. I'm not seeing the left arse cheek at all there. I want that hip yeah. opened up. Okay. into that position. I want to see this left leg. I don't see anything. Any, everything no. is too parallel there. And we want to get, and this is where the hands just like, just go wild because they just want to deal yeah. with it for you. They're trying to manage 70 miles an hour. You know, your impact position is, is there. Yeah. But you're already gone. Okay. Um, so what we're going to try and focus on today is how do we, how do we continue to keep that club online on the way down? Okay but get the hips firing a little bit earlier in the downswing. So what I want you to think about, and this, this is out to the audience as well, and, and think about the, the way in which the golf swing kind of works in, into a, to a degree. Think about on the backswing, it's kind of like the head, the head leads, then the hands go, then you work up into your shoulders, they start to go and then it comes into the chest, that all starts to move, and then it goes into the core, that's all moving, and then the hips start going, and then the kind of, you're getting into the top of the golf swing here, okay? Yeah. So the hips do open up, the left leg kind of wants to come out a little bit from here. But on the way down, so we lead with the club head all the way up the body, down the body, into this position. On the way down, it's a reverse of that. Okay. Okay, so as this club head is now getting to the top of the swing, there's a transition now, and the transition is the, is the lower half is gonna work first. Bang, so now I'm like, this left leg wants yep. to kick. The left hip wants to go. The, le the core wants to start to turn as we start to work our way down. And the last thing that gets back down to that golf ball is the club head. Okay, so it's yeah. the reverse of what we've done on the way back, the club head leads on the way back down. The club head is last to get there. Yeah. yeah, so that's a good way to kind of think about how the golf swing should work. And people can think about that when, you know, they can close their eyes and just think about the club head, hands, shoulders, everything getting to the top of the swing. That's nice, lovely. Right, how do I now leave that there and fire? You know, fire here. Last thing that gets to the ball is bang. Yeah, you know, I, I would love to see that position on me at some point, but it's yeah, 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 yeah. But it's it's a, it's a con I want you to think of it as a conscious thing. So what's happening with you is you're basically getting it, you're doing all the right things kind of on the takeaway. Yeah, I think I'm get, fine going up yeah. that way. I don't, I don't reverse it. But then you just go this way. Yeah, because I know I'm firing, I'm firing that head round before anything else again. Exactly, you're wanting to throw the top yeah. half at the, at, the, at the body, at the ball. And that's not uncommon in certainly male golfers. Yeah. And the reason I say that is because men, we're all upper body. Everything's done upper body, you know, everything's from here. This is our working engine as far as we're concerned. You know, our legs aren't really solid. You know, we're just, the frame up here is, does, does all yeah. the damage. So we want to throw everything. And this is why you get so many players that get, get it to the top and then they, they chuck it over the top. Yeah. Okay. Which we tried to kind of stop with me quite a bit. And it's yeah, because I want to bring still. it this way because the more you fire there, the more that the arms can just drop into position and then through. Yeah. Whereas most most male golfers that I come across in a coaching is they just they want to they want to chop at it from at the top, you know, chop it on an axe, you know, with wood, and this is where they throw it this way. So they go right. How do I? How do I? I'm not going to. I can't go this way because my body isn't turning, so I'm not going to come down. So what they do is they just go right. I've got some room over here. I've got some space here. I can chuck it into that bit of space there, and then I can go through yeah. from there. And actually, by that point, they're now over the top. And now they're fighting this swing that's coming this way because the body still hasn't moved and now the club is coming across their body and they're losing all this power that they've created from the width that they've generated. So for, for me, it's, it's a combination for you of, of feeling, 
load, get this, get this to fire first. Yeah. Little trigger for this is, you know, a rolling of the right ankle. We've talked about this in the past, is, is get the feeling of that action. So at impact, you want to be there. Okay. You're rolling that ankle into this position here is going to help you trigger your hip to fire. Because if you roll, you, you can't, <laughs> it's really hard to roll your ankle in if your left hip doesn't get out of the way, okay? So firing that, that into that position there. And then also, you know, let, let the bill of the cap, let the nose, whatever it is, just let it follow. Okay. Don't be back into this position here. Let the club, let the head just follow that move because as the head is all obviously all connected with the spine, as that opens up, the head can then continue up through. You watch players, some of the best players in the world that have ever lived. Um, you know, Annika Sorenstein would be one, David Duval would be another, Henrik Stenson being another. It's, you know, you almost see them, certainly Annika, you know, in this position here. Not that you don't want to come up out of your posture, but yeah, they're certainly they're not even watching looking, the ball. Well, they're not looking for the ball. You know, this, this old cliche of keep your head down, absolute no no. You know, you cannot, do not keep your head down. No, keep some form of stability. Keep stability, right. keep the frame, but follow that, track that, track it, track it, track it. Get looking before the ball's even gone. Good it's, one. it's about a full body dynamic, not about... Yeah, a good, a good one is, um, I think about American football, and we're gonna get into this in just a minute, and it's to do with the transition. Think about American football, right? They are American footballers, like quarterbacks, they get the ball, if they get to their position, okay? And just as they're about to wind up, as he's getting his hand to the top of the top of his position here to throw it, and tennis would be the same as serve, yep. he's already going. Yep. So he's, his, arm, his arm is still going up as his body's firing. This, this creates this lag, this, yep. this, this power. Bang! The last thing that comes through is the ball going. His body's rotated, he's got into this position. You think about tennis serve, I'm well, lefty, so. Okay. As his tennis serve, as it's going up, the racket's going up, the racket's still going backwards as he's firing and jumping, or she's firing and jumping. Bang, last thing gets to the, to the, the ball is the racket coming through. The body's fired. Everything else is lost. Everything's gone. Yeah. And it's the same in the golf swing, which we're gonna move on to is, as you get it to the top of the swing, as this club is going up, I already want you to start going start firing, so it's, how do, how do you get that action going? Yeah, almost, almost don't think about it anymore because I'm, I'm getting to that point and then thinking, now what do I do? Yeah. And it's, yeah, you've got to forget that. You've, you've already, already got, gone. It's already gone. Yeah. yeah. So take it to the top of the swing. Okay. All of it. And as you take it to the top, go on, up okay. you go, up you go. So as you've got it to this top bit here now, I want you to start opening that up Rolling that in, yeah, that's, very, that that's very weird. Yeah, what is, what and, then in that, and then in that position, then that's going to start to fire underneath you a little bit. More. Okay. So as you start to get it to the top of the swing, we'll just have a couple of um, practice swings. Yeah, that's so like twisting it. Yeah. As you're getting it to the top, so you're from here to get it to the top, fire. Okay. There you go. There you go. And it's a rolling of the right. Yeah, hand. that's going to take a bit of practice, but that's okay. So that's that, and then it's yeah, that. it's I going. Do that, but so that's you're going. I want you to go as you get it, as just before you get to the top of the swing. So start firing, start firing now. There you yeah. go. Last thing comes that's through. Right. It feels very yeah. different, but it feels like now you're throwing the club past you. After press into the ground. Press into the ground. Good. Okay, this time we're a little shorter in the back swing, so get it, okay. and go. Get it, feel like, almost think like John Brown. Okay. Short and go. And again, short, short and go. So you're almost like holding, because what's happening at the moment is you're getting it to the top, you're wanting to desperately get it to the top, and in order to get to the top, you're standing up straighter yeah. to get it up to here. Okay. And I want you to get the sense of holding, so you're not getting it up here. Yeah. Just get it there, go. Yeah, uh, yeah. Probably find it a lot easier to, to get to the bottom of the ground if you're getting it halfway back. You're not going to generate any more power by taking it that much further back. 
There you go. Look at how you're yeah. connecting the ground now. Yeah. Does that feel halfway back? It felt less than halfway back. Okay, good. Can I give you one more of that? Mickey Mouse has turned up. <laughs> <laughs> I love the train too. <laughs> so this is original. This is when you walked in. Okay. Yep. Yeah. This is you. This is you trying to say that you're giving me halfway back. Yeah, but it's not, is it? No, you're top of the golf swing now. Yeah, but that feels... will that will change. So when you're putting a golf ball there, it will change a little bit. But look, can you see the transition now? That you're starting to make an effort of moving yeah. that lower half. Oh, I've got hips. You got your hips don't lie. Your yeah. Hips don't lie. <laughs> not quite Elvis, but you know. Yeah, okay. Better. That's still room for improvement, but better. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But but look, you, you're at to you've activated this back leg. Yeah. This is like what? Not a lot going on there. Yeah. So activated it. The weight transfer is now shifting forward. Hips are driving forward. This is this 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 shifting of weight from right leg to left leg, which you need that. Yeah, yeah. You need to with any sport you're playing like that. This one. There's just too much weight still on that back leg. You know, this one here looks like you're going to compress it more. Yeah. This one looks like you're just trying to scoop it off the top. Do you take many divots? No. no I wouldn't think you did. You know, look at look at the difference here. I mean, there's no, again, you're still on your back foot. Yeah. You know, there's no your transfer of weight is all opened up. Your hips have all opened up into that position. If I get you, if I get you from a down the line shot as well. Impact. Yeah. And this is why I love to drill this sort of stuff without a golf ball a lot of the time. Like you don't need to go that far back. You 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 no. extending. But I didn't even realise I was, and that's yeah. that's interesting. Yeah. So, you know, I'm starting to see the left leg here. Yeah. I couldn't see it. I'm not seeing it over here. No, no, I'm, I'm planted. You're planting. Yeah, there, absolutely. So, yeah. and then through impact position there. There won't be a through impact position on there. Yeah. I can now start to see your left yeah. arse cheek. Can't see it there at all. Yeah. Okay. Transition of weight across. Much better. That's why I look top of shirt it makes. I don't get to see my ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember, halfway back, rip it through. A bit heavy. Yeah. Same again. Oh, heavy is good. I don't get heavy. <laughs> you pull the ground. Exactly. Look at the difference there. Oh, that was like it, a it sounded bomb. better, yeah. yeah. Ah, right. Now, look. The, the, don't get me wrong, you haven't quite you haven't figured out no, no. the directional side of things yet, but I just want you to be aware of the numbers of what you've just created there. But we know we know that our club path is is nice at the moment, but we've still got it at 1.6 degrees in to out. Yeah. So that's good. Angle of attack, you were averaging 0.8 up. I think it was 0.8 or 0.3 or 0.8 tonight. You've now got one at 1.6 down into the ball. Yeah. All right, you were very neutral before, with point three, I think it was. So we've got it moving in the right direction, 100%. Your spin numbers have, have nicely gone up, so at five eight, closer to 6,000, which is what I kind of want with the seven iron. Your angle, your launch angle, is still a little bit launchy, 23.5. Yeah. But the face was um, nine degrees open to the target, so if you, which is going to add loft, therefore sure. add launch and in turn out spin to be fair. But if we can get the face to turn down just a fraction, get that ball heading towards target a little bit more, um, it's gonna reduce that launch angle down. The only thing that hasn't changed massively, well in fact at all, is your line was still down on the ball. So yeah. we, we, we will address that at some point for sure. 
But all in all, the, the important bit here is the fact that you've got the angle of attack down onto the golf ball, which is brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Again, we talk about compression and, and hitting down into the golf ball, all those little things that I'm trying to improve on for you. Yeah. We know that if, if we hit a ball left, generally we've closed the club face down, haven't we? Yeah. So here, you've got one that goes 127 yards in the air, and it's gone 36 yards left. So you've de-lofted it, and it's just bombed it out there down the left-hand side. So if you pull a shot, yeah. and it goes long left, it's going to go long of the, of you, generally of your yardage that you expected. The facts are that you've got it there at 120 to 126 yards, which is your highest ball speed. Yeah. So you're at 95 mile an hour off the club face, highest ball speed to that point in all the other stuff that you've been producing here today. You've got it out there the furthest. So, and it's even gone right. So even though we've added too much loft and all those sorts of things, which will always reduce the ball distance because you've added too much loft, you've got it out there the, fur the furthest to a, to a point but you've also created the most ball speed. So you've given your opportunities have gone up. The potential has gone up from just that. If we can square that club face up, that yardage is going to go up. Just to get the accuracy now. Yeah, you're going to go up beyond 130 to 135. Your ball speed's going to go up because you've compressed into the ball better. Okay. So just by moving the weight transfer, using your body, you're generally going to swing it. Get that on there. You're generally going to swing it, possibly a little bit quicker, okay. compress into the ball. And, and start to get it out there a little bit further. It's taking the brakes off, but not losing the control. Correct. How did that feel? Felt easy. Felt there was no, there were no brakes, and it didn't hurt. Okay, one, um, degree, yeah. one degree down on the ball, you're into that by point nine. You've got a club face, which is fractionally close to that, which means it's gone a little bit left. Carry okay. distance is gone. He's, he's at 126, so same as what you had on the last one. Um, club head speed, one mile an hour slower. Yeah. Ball speed, fractionally, fractionally yeah. down as well, but only two mile an hour down. Slightly, slightly that one, so you have a little break. Shorter back, smash it through, drive that body. Remember, mm -hmm. if you want to hit it harder, don't hit it harder with the top half. Yeah. Drive at it at the body. Drive yeah. at the body, yeah? Shorten that backswing so I feel like the transition is going to be a little bit more quicker. Do the drill. Yeah. Okay, do the drill. Don't, don't swing, don't go shot to shot to shot to shot. Okay. Do the drill. I keep doing that. It's that. Yeah. That. that felt easier. Yeah, it felt like I got the, the turn now, not yeah. the push. Yeah. Uh, what what I'm loving, what I'm loving is, I mean, you're three point six degrees down on the ball there. Yeah. I can hear it. I can hear the compression now coming into. It don't never happen. It? It's uh, always that. And, and and if you look at again, you've got a club face which is a little bit open here at the moment. Still, yeah. okay. still twenty degrees open. So we're not. That's not ideal. However, you know, 3.6 down on the ball, path is still into out slightly. Your launch angle's dropped down to 19.9. So we've got it in the 19s now, yeah. which tells us that we're compressing into that ball. Better. How's it feel, John? Uh, it felt more control. If, and it felt like I wasn't falling off it anymore. I almost felt like I was finishing in a position where I, I, I could go for it. Yeah. <laughs> awful. yeah. Um, Launch well, 20 I degrees. Want be, I want it to be more effortless. Yeah. Maybe. Launch 20 degrees, angle of attack 1.9 down on the ball, path the zero. Just need to have a little look at this lie at some point when we get into it, but the, the, the focal point at the moment is just this compression. Yeah, I understand. When I had the fit in, that was, that was a different swing. It's, it's changing a lot since then. Okay, that one 
been quite right, but it just just felt like the body was gone. Yeah, but there's a difference in carry yeah. now. And that's a, that's a good thing. It felt like the body was gone. You can hear you can hear it. Yeah, you it can just hear it. sounds better. Must the strike must feel better. So that's your longest carry of 134 yards, still down the right hand side. Down angle of attack, look, love it. 2.8 down, yeah. half, zero. Um, launch angle still 27, but the face is still wide open from there. Um, you know, well, we know there's lots to work on, but it's like he's fixing one thing first, giving confidence to go on the course and start hitting them and thinking they're actually going to get some kind of distance now. And 134 yards carry. Yeah. Okay, and there's still wriggle room in the tank for that. Of course, yeah. But, but this is the first port of call that you've got to you've got to zone in on. You've got to compress it. It's, it's going to be no different with your wedges. Like you've got to compress those wedges. Different with driver. You're trying to launch driver. Even if they're not 100% yet, yeah, they just feel better. <laughs> well, I mean, it's going. Yeah, you've got that up to 149 now. Yeah, that's more like where your 7 iron needs to be, isn't it? 136 yard carry, all right. Fractionally down the left hand side. But your angle of attack is... It used to be 125, so the 7 iron would be like 135 for me. Yeah, 136, you carry yeah. that. I mean, your angle of attack is three degrees, three and a half degrees down on the ball. Launch angle that time, 17.2. Line ball, John. Well, I'm not going to complain about the line ball. My play links are a bit short, it'll roll on. <laughs> so that one never left the line, did it? No. It never left the line. I mean. We can stop there, mate. Well, yeah, well, no, but, 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 but realistically, it's where I want to push you to. Yeah, you, yeah. Know, it, you know, last two swings you've made, you've got 17 degrees of launch, you've got 18 degrees of launch in that last swing. You know, your ball speed, your ball speed is now at 101 mile an hour. Yeah. You know, you, you, and you, but you, what, what's great really about that? At the start, because the body was all in the way and it was all arms. Well, yeah, it was in the yeah. low 90s. Yeah. It was in the low, high 80s, low 90s for the most part. We got one, your best at that one stage at 95 mile an hour. Now remember, this is all with the same club head speed. Yeah, yeah. Within, you're going to be, your club head speed is always going to be one or two mile an hour between itself. Really, it, doesn't oh, feel, yeah. it doesn't feel any different. Quicker. Fact, it, it feels like I've put less effort in. Okay, well that's no, yeah, never so. a bad thing. Your, your club at speed is staying at 74 mile an hour. I've been watching it for a little while. It's been okay. fluctuating between 73 and 75 mile an hour. That's where I am, that's what it is, yeah. You've got 101 in your ball speed. Your launch is at 18.3. Compressing it, you're 3.8 degrees down into the ball now. I said I wanted you at around oh, three or four. Yeah, big change, yeah. Um, your path is 0.8, so you're basically zero, 0.8 out to win that time. Ball's, ball's gone absolutely yeah. dead straight, just dropped down to the left hand side. And your average, what well, you carry on that particular swing there, gone up to 138. Yeah. At the time, that's where I want it to get yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. Your lie angle, we need to deal with that at some point, but that, yeah. I don't want that to be a focal point because that's another shift again. But, but I, and to be honest, I was expecting this to move a little bit, if I'm brutally honest. Like, it's a bit of a shock that it's gone the other way. I was expecting okay. the more you drive down this way, that the handle should stay lower. But we'll get to the, get to the core of that at some point. Okay. But, but the important factor here is get that launch angle down. Let's get the angle of attack down. Let's start pressing down into the golf ball just a little bit more with those irons. Keep the path in a good position and increase ball speed, increase distance. Let's get it out there. For, for me, this is the top of this video is basically press down. I've got pressed down, I've got scooping to. Yeah, stop down. scooping, get more pressed. Yeah. Yeah. Very pleased, mate. I'm not expecting you know, to fix everything in one go. That's the You're whole not going to do video. No, 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 quite sure thing. of it's fixing one thing. Fix this one that. thing, work on it, work on it, work on it. This is Makes sense. Thank you very much, yes, absolutely, Dad. Simple. All right, it's a simple move. It's something for you to think about, which is not as complicated. Just focus on those key points. Remember, club head leads, body leads on the way down. Club yeah. head leads on the way back, and body leads on the way down. Last this, thing is this, this, this little twist at this. I've never even thought about it. Yeah. So it's, it's getting it, get it to the, get it as you're working it back. Start firing here, yeah. back, fire, then go. Last bit that gets to the ball is the club head. Perfect. And then you're compressing because you're already ahead now. Yeah. And the ball, the club is just dropping down on top of the ball. Lovely. Thank you very much, Dan. You are a star. Makes sense? It, it makes absolute sense. <coughs> Thank you very much for watching everybody. Like I said, this is not a complete fix for me. This is like, Dan, help. I've got it all a bit wrong. 
and now I can work on this. We're going to push down, compress down, and, and obviously do that little, you know, Elvis bit. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Speak soon. See you on another adventure on a course near you.